Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, King of Pentacles, old and new. Damn, I swear I could I just did it. No, nah, not Holy Spirit. I just did King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Can we get somebody else? Another king or queen, zodiac or element, Holy Spirit, please. And thank you. I do hope you all are doing okay. And thank you for your continued support of mind right botanicals please hit that like button for me i really do appreciate it and it lets me know if these messages are working for you taurus so maybe there's a king of pentacles taurus energy but taurus has come out let's see what the oracle messages are for my tauruses holy spirit what is the message for my taurus collective at this time please and thank you holy spirit what type of insight and guidance do you have for them from you through me at this time. What is the message, Holy Spirit? Let's see. Let's do one more shuffle. Messages for my Tauruses. Or you could be dealing with the Taurus. What is the messages? The messages from the universe for my Taurus collective, Holy Spirit, please. And thank you. What would you like? For them to know let's go married so this you someone in my Taurus collective you may be married okay what about this married energy lost one maybe you were married here okay but something has ended something may be over here clarify giving up Maybe you've decided to give up on a marriage, Taurus. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit, for my Tauruses? Please and thank you. We have wedding marriage out here again. Oh, my goodness. So definitely somebody is married in my collective here. And they lost is out here again. Oh, my gosh, Taurus. What the fuck? This energy has repeated itself twice. Giving up is in the middle. We have married, lost one, and then we have wedding slash marriage and lost. So there's definitely been an ending to a marriage here. Okay? Anything else we talk about here from my Taurus Collective Holy Spirit? Wow. That's some somebody energy powerful out here. Hold tight. Don't ever give up the fight. We have the other woman. So, this may be why you gave up, Taurus, because even though you were trying to hold on to your marriage, there was this other woman who was hell-bent on being some type of negative force in your life and in your marriage with this baby mama, baby daddy drama, okay? And the police may have even gotten involved here, okay? Okay? So you trying to evolve from this entire situation because I feel like it's just too much. Especially if the police got involved. Taurus is a very grounded. Y'all can be bullheaded, but y'all also can be very grounded in the fact that you're just not going to be getting into certain type of situations. And having to deal with the police is one of them, okay, for whoever I'm picking up on. So you know it's time to evolve from this situation. It may feel like a lost but you are actually winning because you're not going to have to deal with this type of low vibrational drama and behavior. Whoever you were married to, they had another woman that they may have had a child with. And this person was hell bent on being an issue between you and your husband. So you taking flight, whoever I'm picking up on. Okay. And you didn't had it here. Anything else? Anything else? You you finna let this go. You moving on. We have the other man. Oh, shit. See? We have the other man and divine connection and divine purpose. Because guess what, Taurus? They're, just like they got this other woman, there's another man who is going to give you exactly what you was hoping to have and receive from this marriage. Okay, there is somebody else out there for you that you have a divine connection and a divine pur purpose 
with, okay? So, Holy Spirit, anything else before we move on to the tarot for my Tauruses? Anything else? Cryptic. Jail is on the bottom. You don't save them. They don't want to be saved. So, it's good that you disconnected from whoever you married to anyway. Because whoever they dealing with, whatever they that person you were married to got going on, it's something cryptic here. It's something that is going to cause a definite ending for them. And I feel like you have forewarned them about whatever this cryptic energy or behavior is. It could be this baby mama. Because the police already didn't got involved one time, look like here. But they don't want to be saved. That's what the universe is saying. Don't save them. They don't want to be saved. Maybe you've realized that. That's why you're evolving from this marriage. Because you know this person ain't going to change their ways. And they may end up in jail. Okay? So that, that seems like that may be a pending outcome for them. Holy Spirit, what else would you like for Tauruses to know at this time? Please and thank you. What are the messages, the insight and guidance that you have for my Taurus Collective at this time, Holy Spirit? What is the message? Let's see. One more show for you guys. Actually, let's do one more past this. These cards feel like they're sticking together a little bit. Let's do one more shuffle. Holy Spirit, messages, please and thank you for my Tauruses regarding this energy. What else do they need to know at this time? Or what messages do you have for them? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. The star. Hmm. This may be your baby mama or your baby daddy. I'm just looking at how she's naked on the card. Okay, I feel like this this person caused a loss for you because they have faith and hope that they can have some type of partnership with your husband. But I feel like the star can also represent the loss that you feel like you've taken by having to give up on your marriage. But God don't want you to see it like that. God wants you to see it for what it is that this in fact is. Somebody who got some cryptic shit going on and he, they not your divine counterpart. You got another man who is your divine counterpart and you are about to be renewed and revitalized in this divine energy that you're supposed to be residing in. Empress, Taurus energy. I had to say that in a reading the other day. The Empress card can represent Taurus and Libra energy. This is y'all energy. This is a loss for y'all. You feel like you've been stripped even with this star card. But for some reason, I'm picking up baby mama energy off this star. Tower. Okay? When you found out about this star, it was a tower. That's what I feel. I, that's what I'm getting. Something happened. The police were called. That's this tower energy to me too. Something the bottom dropped out of something, eight of pentacles, and you've been investing in trying to make this marriage work. Queen of Wands then came out here now. But whoever you were married to, they were investing in this per other person. I don't know what the hell is going on because I'm honestly picking up off. I'm picking up two women, y'all. I'm picking up the star. And I'm picking up that this Queen of Wands is somebody else. But I'm also picking up that this is you working to free yourself from this marriage now. You're taking flight. You're evolving from this. Okay? So, clarify this Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit. Why am I picking up that this is a third party? One second. This person has been trying to invade this connection for a long time. But this is not it. This is not just one baby mama. This is not just one baby mama. I feel like this star energy is the last straw. This this is what the star energy is what made you give up. This person is newly pregnant, I'm hearing. 
But there's a Queen of Wands energy that I feel has already had a child. Like this person, somehow your, your husband got multiple baby mamas, okay? Whoever I'm talking to, clarify, Holy Spirit. Clarif Can you clarify this Queen of Wands, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Nine of Cups in reverse, child. I seen it when it flipped out. This is somebody, I feel like your husband is this nine of cups in reverse. This person been out here acting like they single and they've acquired a lot of, a lot of trophies on their mantle. They may have multiple baby mamas. And at one point you felt like this person was going to make your wishes come true Taurus, but you're realizing that this energy is not designed for you. They are very narcissistic coming out here as a nine of cups in reverse child. They, they just all about them. It's some other shit going on with this nine of cups in reverse. And they did this queen of wands is representing other energies that they have children with. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on it. I'm picking up on it heavy. You know, whoever I'm talking to six of swords, four of swords. That's why you are moving on. The common waters, that's why you are laying this shit to rest. Because you know this person ain't no good for you. They coming out as a nine of cups in reverse. That's how cryptic they are. Okay? They don't want to be saved. They feel like what they doing is right. But if they really look at it, if they look at, at the bigger picture, the full spectrum of it all, they ain't getting their way. In fact, it looks like they're headed to jail. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Nine of Wands. This person is facing a lot of trials right now. They still trying to stand in this egotistical adamance that they are going to persevere and have their way. But that's not what's happening here. These baby mamas is weighing down on this man. I really feel like this is somebody who has multiple. This person may have up to nine baby mamas. Y'all think I'm playing. This That's why this nine of wands is out here. He and the nine of cups in the reverse with the nine of wands. The world is in reverse now. He has continuously created families with people. And I feel like he might be finally at his breaking point because the universe is forcing him to stop. If he going to jail, he ain't making no babies in jail. Also, you're not there, Taurus. You're not there as this mother matriarch figure who's been holding this marriage as well as this partner up. Despite his infidelity. Okay, clarify, Holy Spirit, this star energy, please, and thank you. Knight of Swords. This is an, y'all think I'm playing. This is an Aquarius that this man took a risk with, that he took some action with that's now caused some type of wayward consequences in his life. You know, he jumped off the cliff with this Aquarius here, with this Knight of Swords to the fool. And the Holy Spirit says, that's the truth. I'm telling you, this is a new baby mama. This is what did it here for this Taurus. Whoever I'm picking up on, whoever you are. You could be, hell, you could be one of these baby mamas. You could be this narcissistic partner she was married to. You could be the Taurus. Whoever I'm picking up on, this Taurus, this is their situation. And God just not finna let them have to keep dealing with this bullshit. They deserve better. They have a divine connection and a divine purpose with another. And they about to walk right into it and right towards that other man. They are being spiritually guided towards whoever this is that's supposed to make a difference in their life. Because, look, as hard as they work, as much as they do, much, as much as they have done to keep this partnership together, this is where they've remained. This is where they at now. Because they done learned about this star energy. That's another baby mama. I'm telling you, something happened. Somebody might have got to fighting. There was definitely some type of argument. Something happened when this empress learned about the star energy. But that let her know she had to turn her back. It is she had to stop investing 
in this marriage. Okay? If I'm talking to you directly, Taurus, that's what you have learned. You have learned that you got to stop investing in people, places, and things that don't serve you. New start. Take flight. That's what you're doing. Hope is here. You don't have to look. Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, because I'm telling you, your fortune is about to change. Whoever I'm talking to, you done finally gave up on this damn marriage, and the universe see you. The universe see that you have finally ended giving to and receiving anything from this person who was breadcrumbing you in return. You were sharing your wealth with this energy, Taurus, and this person was breadcrumbing you in return. But the universe sees that you have released this narcissist here. They see it. And they're ready to give you that offer. They're ready to lead you in that direction. That's going to give you exactly what you deserve. It ain't even really about what you want. It's about what you deserve here because you suffered a lot. You've dealt with a lot. I'm telling you, I'm picking up nine baby mamas. It's nine baby mamas. Throughout the years, I don't know how long you've been married to this person. And you may not even know about all of them. But this man got nine baby mamas. I promise you that. He came out here as a nine twice for a reason. You in the nine of swords. Because you may even know that it could be up to nine women who, he's, who he has fathered a child with. Trophies on his mantle. That's how he see them. Strength. Continuously. Persistently did this. And that's why you are going to persistently move forward with your life. Because it don't make no sense. It don't, and you know that, okay? You deserve more. You are worth more. You bring far more to the table than what you've been accepting. And whoever I'm speaking to in this Taurus Collective, you are preparing to exit away from this shit because, again, it ain't no telling. I'm telling you, I'm picking up that you don't really... You may have a feeling, but... I'm confirming. I'm picking up on it. There are some things that you don't know about this man been doing, child. Night of Wands. Night of Wands right behind that with this Queen of Swords. Hermit right behind that. These motherfuckers been getting it in. And this person is pregnant. And you, you've learned. Then here go another baby mama, and she she should be ashamed. She already defeated child boo. She look caught up in the matrix. She enough, she one of them gonna be fighting, finna be facing misfortune and loss, cause she done had a she having a baby by a married man, and she thinks she winning. But she's already defeated coming out here as this Eight of Swords with this Five of Swords, this Queen of Swords. And I feel like this Queen of Swords may even be trying to cloak herself, cloak this pregnancy, coming out with this hermit behind her energy, cloak her hoish behavior with this Knight of Wands, Moon energy coming out before her. But people going to know because this baby is, is being born, I'm hearing, or is going to be born. Like, she's trying to keep this child. And it's just no way you can stay married to this man. And he got yet another new baby mama he didn't create it. But like I said, she should be ashamed of herself. She should be embarrassed. Because not only is you having a baby by a married man, but you like the ninth baby mama. Like, what? And it was nine, it was 9.33 when I said that. I'm telling you. This lady, lady is like the ninth baby mama. That's a shame. Why Why would you want to be somebody ninth baby mama? Okay, why would you want to purposely put yourself in this five of swords, eight of swords, five of wands with the four of pentacles? But that's what she's done. Very cryptic. Very cryptic. That's this cryptic energy right here. And you, you ain't playing this game. With these people, and I don't blame you. You well above this coming out as the Ace of Pentacles with the Empress, Eight of Pentacles. That's your energy. You you well above this bullshit. And I'm telling you, somebody Three of Pentacles. You realize that 
a light has been shined down on what this husband of yours been doing with a lot of women. He got a lot of babies out here, and a lot of them he don't claim, I'm hearing, but he is the father of a lot of children. He is. He ain't took care of half of them. This is one of those who like to pick and choose which children that he will claim, and he'll just act like the other children don't exist. But you know how it ends up for them type of people, okay? A light is being shined down on his behavior as well as the behavior of these women that he's creating these children with. Because these women know this man was married, but they chose to do this anyway. And I'm telling you, don't save them. They don't want to be saved. 11-11. On this second video, I'm going to make sure I put these together. But you know what time it is, Taurus. So I don't know what this man then did, but jail is in somebody's future here. The sun. Something is being exposed or illuminated. And that's probably because you've taken your hands off of this connection. You've taken your hands off of trying to save this man, save this marriage, help him. You've probably helped him take care of some of these children. Because you coming out here as the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, his ass is up under judgment for something. Something is being exposed here about this energy. So, you know, I don't know, Taurus. This got pretty specific, but this is for somebody. This most recent baby mama you've learned about has triggered you to give up on this marriage for good. And just know you got a divine counterpart. I'm about to get another deck because Holy Spirit, Taurus deserves to know about this other man. This 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 husband thought he had other women. But baby, you about to pop out with your, this other man, your true divine masculine. Okay? So let's see if we can get some insight on him. Yeah, that husband, ex-husband going to be in regret when he see you reemerge with your divine spouse. Holy Spirit, can we get some insight on this divine connection and divine purpose energy before we close, please? And thank you for my Tauruses. Can we get some insight on who this divine partner is? That Taurus is about to walk right towards. Please and thank you. One more shuffle, y'all. One more shuffle. Mm, mm, mm. Child, be glad that you're freeing yourself. You think it's a loss, but baby, you you don't know how much you're winning. Because these people finna be going through it, all these baby mamas. When this masculine go to jail, because that's what's finna happen. Maybe this masculine, they thought he had some type of abundance with him coming out as a nine of cups in reverse. I'm seeing something. But they not finna get the money that they thought they was finna get by having a baby with him. The ones that he do claim, cause I'm or cause I'm telling you, it's something like the ones he don't claim. It could be a toss up, and the girl don't even feel like going down that road with the DNA shit, so that he can still kind of deal with them, but they can't get nothing out of him really. It's a lot of bullshit going on with this cryptic ass narcissist that you was married to. A lot of negative action he was taking, but just know that he under judgment for it, and they gonna be fighting. They're going to be upset because they don't realize what's coming, what the plan is for him. But let's figure out what the plan is for you. Fuck him. Let's see what good news you're about to receive from the universe with this page of wands. Because you decided to move on to calmer waters and leave this shit behind. You about to get have your wishes come true, Taurus. Look. Look. I'm trying to tell you what I'm picking up on. Who is this that's about to place Taurus right back where they supposed to be at in this wifey position? Because you coming out as a queen of pentacles. Now, let's see who this is. A ten of pentacles. I'm telling you, this your divine connection and divine purpose energy here. Right here. This is what mysticizes as a result of getting with your divine counterpart and following what you and them are supposed to do together. You get a 10 of pentacles when you do that. 
the lovers, your twin flame, your ideal counterpart. That's who he is. And this person going to love you and commit only to you. I know, I know. I just said, I know. I know they're going to understand how heartbroken you've been. And they're going to make sure they give you all the love and nurturing that you deserve to make up for the pain and loss and suffering you experience in your marriage. You're about to have a victory. Six of Wands, Ace of Wands out here again. Okay, Taurus? So I wouldn't be too sad about this ending because I feel like you've been dealing with this shit for quite some time and it's actually going to be a release here and you know what happens when you release you receive what you rightfully deserve what you already possibly earned in a past lifetime that's what's happening here now things are going to be balanced in your favor king of cups you are about to meet Possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who is going to love you, be your committed, loyal partner. Y'all coming out as each other's match. You are this Queen of Cups energy to your divine counterpart, and he's going to be this King of Cups to you, okay? This is twin flame energy all day. Five of Swords, and I'm telling you that ex-husband going to be mad. And he's already defeated because he's going to be in jail hearing about how you have remarried some other man, the other man, and y'all out here doing big things. Six of Wands with the Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, y'all doing big things. Ace of Wands out here twice for y'all, okay, Taurus? So don't fret. Don't fret because, ooh, I'm telling you. This ex-husband might is be going to jail for real. This is the third reference to jail out here. Four of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords already was out here in the other deck. Four of Pentacles came out a card after that card. And jail is out here. That, that looked like that's going to be the plan for him. He might not see it, but that's what's coming. That's why I said these baby mamas think they winning for some reason. They think this man is abundant. But I'm I'm really picking up that his abundance is, look, that's hidden from them. That's hidden from him, too. He don't realize what's about to happen to him. But what's hidden from these baby mamas is that a lot of that abundance that this man was accumulating was through you. I'm really getting that for some reason. You ain't come out here as no Ace of Pentacles for nothing. Either you are helping him be abundant, your energy, or you are actually physically helping him be abundant, giving him money, investing in him, allowing him to keep his money to pay for these baby mamas, something like that. Here now, Taurus. Okay. Any final messages? Any final messages here? Seven of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you was investing in this man. I just said that. And you were investing in him long term because that's your husband. That's what you're supposed to do. But if he ain't reciprocating and if you're not getting a return on your investment, at some point you got to be like, well, he investing all this energy in creating children that he can't take care of. Why he can't invest half of that energy into at least half of that energy into us. Okay. Somebody has said that. Somebody has said that here. Anything else? Final messages. We're going to close. Holy Spirit, anything else before we close? Page of Pentacles. I don't think you are quite sold on what your future outcome is going to be. But I do feel like you are about to get what you were not expecting. And you are not expecting to get a divine partner you're not expecting for somebody to willingly work to make your wishes come true. I like how the universe didn't specifically show us his form because that's a nice surprise. You know what's coming, but when you see it right in front of you, when it pops out in your face and it can't be denied, you still are going to get a lot of joy and elation in that moment. So why take away from that? Okay, Taurus, 
So we're going to end it here. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.